Hello everyone! In today's video, we're going to explore an interesting geometry puzzle. We're given a large right-angled triangle. Inside this triangle, three squares are perfectly nestled side by side, each touching the triangle's base and hypotenuse. Starting from the right, we have a small green square with an area of 4. Next to it is a blue square with an area of 9. And finally, on the left, we see a larger yellow square. But its area is a mystery. Can you figure out the area of this largest square? Take a moment to think about it. Now, let's walk through the solution and uncover how we can find the missing area. Let's start by focusing on the smallest square. Its area is 4 which means each side of the square must be the square root of 4. That's 2 units. Next, look at the middle square. Its area is 9, so each side must be the square root of 9. That's 3 units. Now, notice that this length is 3 and this length is 2. The remaining length will be 3 minus 2, which is 1. So, substituting this value, we get the following configuration. Now, let's consider this unknown length and call it x. Looking at the two right-angled triangles formed, you'll notice that they are similar triangles since they share the same angles. So, we can set up a proportion. x over 3 is equal to 1 over 2. Solving this, we find that x is equal to 1.5. Now, substituting this value back into our figure, we get the updated diagram. The side of the middle square is 3. Now, suppose the side length of our desired square, the largest one, is x. From our earlier step, we found that the extra length beside the middle square is 1.5. So, the total side length x is 3 plus 1.5, which equals 4.5. Substituting this back, we now know the side length of the largest square is 4.5. To find the area, we simply square this value. 4.5 squared is 20.25. So, the area of the largest square is 20.25. Finally, we get this diagram. And that's our solution. But wait, before you go, I've got one more challenge for you. Can you find the area of the largest square in terms of A and B? Drop your answer in the comments below and let's see who gets it right. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.